Hey everyone, this is Gleb. Imagine you have a demo page like this one that shows a toast. If you click on a show button, it pops this message, which disappears pretty quickly. So how could you uh, confirm that this message is working from your Cypress test? Okay, I already created a project and I set the domain as a base URL and I will visit the toast page. Let's open Cypress. I will use end-to-end -end testing, Electron is fine. And if I visit the page, I need to click on this show button. So let's figure out what is the selector for this button. Okay, I see the whole page is divided into the doc section. So we are interested in basic doc and then a button called show. So we'll say contains basic doc button with text show and we're gonna click on this. Now notice we clicked right on the right button but nothing happened and this is caused by clicking too quickly. The page is still loading so there is nothing attached to this button and we can see it even if we don't have click command we click ourselves like nothing is happening. All right so we have to wait for the page to actually load. So I can say after you visit, just wait one second. And this is why frameworks like Quick are so popular because they don't allow you to quick until the handler is attached. Okay, so now we saw the click and now we can see that when we click the before and after dump snapshots and we already can kind of see that the button is producing the desired effect. Now we can click on the click command go to the after dump snapshot, open DevTools and inspect the pop-up because it's not going anywhere, it's frozen. It's just a dump snapshot. So we can see that it creates toast item and then inside it have the message content. So why don't we maybe grab this element, p toast item with message content. So we can say sci contains Toast item and inside it has message content and it should be visible. Okay, clicking confirm it's there. Maybe we want to confirm that it's a successful message. So again, click on the assertion, bring up dev tools, remove the highlights so it's easy to look at the elements. And okay, it has P toast message success class. All right, so let's confirm that that class is there. And this is inside the toast message. So we'll say just find class. And this will confirm that inside the toast message, there is an element with class p toast message success. So once this is passing, okay, perfect. We have to confirm that it goes away. And to do this, we'll grab the same selector, which is just this element and it has to be quoted and we'll say should not exist. It has to go away after a certain period. And let's see if it does that. And it does. So this is how you can catch quick toast pop-ups from your Cypress test. Initially, uh, you can catch them using click if they appear very quickly. There is an alternative. You can say after you click, maybe wait another second because that weight will produce its own dump snapshot. Okay, so you can, once the test finishes, you can go back to side weight and notice how clear this pop is there, it's frozen. Then you can confirm that the message appears, that it's the right message, has the right success, info, warn or error status. And then just confirm that it goes away. I'm gonna put the link to the source code in the description of this video. If you have similar questions, just ask me.